All right, let's get into these waivers. First up, we have the one, the only, Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, Mr. Tua is rostered in 24.8% of leagues. Uh, Tua and the Dolphins went up against the Chiefs this week. And honestly, what a what a game that turned out to be. I think everybody wasn't expecting it to be as close as it was. Um, Tua ended up completing 28 of 48 passes for more than 300 yards. A couple scores did throw a pick, but you got that that nice rushing floor from him. Finally, that you saw in his uh, start against Arizona when he had seven for 35 really hasn't done much then since then on the ground. Uh, was able to produce six carries for 24 yards and a rushing score against Kansas City, put up almost 30 points, has New England this week, who, man, what a sorry team they looked like, and Cam in particular, who refuses, yeah, who who refuses to throw the coaching staff under the bus. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I... I see a little upside there with Tua. What do you think about Tua this week so, against New England? Always pay for future performance. I I am not digging um, picking him up and playing him, especially in a week 15 title game, honestly. You'd uh, have to I, be desperate and get there on the yeah. backs of so many other people. Yeah, I don't, you'd have to be super desperate. And and honestly, um, you know, do you really want to start a rookie quarterback against new england like if you look at what they've done to some some of the younger players in the league this year you know like they're bill belichick can still drop a scheme and confuse young players right so if we look at what they did two weeks ago they held herbert to zero points well three three weeks ago they held murray to 17 points um they held lamar to 17 well, no, I'm saying for the game. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking about t- team offenses that they're oh. allowing points. So, was, yes, Charger, Charger zero, Cardinals 17, Ravens 17. They held the Bills to 24. Like, I, I just don't really want my rookie quarterback playing against the Patriots defense. So, for that reason, uh, to be Mark Cuban, I'm out on Tua. Um, I mean, the, the Bills, I guess, is an okay matchup the following week on Monday night. But again, you don't really... I I would pass on him um, and rely on somebody with a little bit more experience. Um, I, I would not want to put my title hopes in, into his hands against the Patriots. The Patriots are currently allowing the 13th most uh, fantasy points to quarterbacks over the last four weeks. So, or I'm sorry, 13th fewest, rather. So, I don't know, kind of middle of the pack, um, mm. but on the, the upper half of the league. I get it. All right. Well, then let's uh, talk about our next guy. Maybe you'll like him more. The one, the only Jalen Hurts rostered in a whopping 8.9% of ESPN leagues. Look, there were only a, a few people that thought that Hurts and the Eagles even had a chance against New Orleans in this game. Do you, do you know who those people are? Who? Who are those people? They're they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that they were right. They're still an idiot. <laughs> they're literally right. Oh my I god! I don't care. Look, I'll tell you what though. Jalen Hurts, if he is the starter, Jalen Hurts is a top 12 quarterback the rest of the season. God. Top 12 fantasy quarterback the rest of the season. You want to know why? For the same reason Lamar Jackson is. Yeah. In this game, he had 18 rushing attempts for more than 100 yards. That Done. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He only completed 17 of 30 passes for 167 yards. That ain't nothing. That sucks, quite honestly. But he did have a passing score to go with it and a fumble. But he put up 20 points. It's like he he throws like he's Lamar Jackson, apparently. I mean, yeah. Might be slightly better. He hurts to watch passing the ball. 
But if you're going to run 18 times for 106 yards, 19.3 fantasy points with a 17 of 30 for 167 and one line with a fumble. Doesn't matter. Just doesn't even matter. Do you really want to hurt me? Oh, wow. Um, I, um, I mean, I, I was, I was wrong on Jalen hurts. Um, I mean, who, who wouldn't have been, um, I mean, New Orleans hadn't given up a hundred yard rusher in what three years. Um, and they, they gave it up to two different players in the same game. The Eagles offense, which has done nothing for basically the entire season. Um, and here comes Jalen Hurts and does it up. I I would be comfortable starting him against Arizona. Um, I know Arizona looked relatively good against the New York Giants this week um, with uh, Daniel Jones and kind of a bum, bum wheel. Um, Jalen Hurts does not have a bum wheel. So, yeah, if he's going to have 18 carries, 100 yards rushing, um, you know, they do have their weapons back. Alshon, uh, he still kind of has the piano. Uh, but I mean, he he caught a touchdown. Goddard's back. Um, he's healthy. Ertz is around. Rager's there. Fulgham's there. Um, th- they got they got the the whole whole gang there. So you know, provided that Hertz can do it, I I guess I'd feel comfortable starting him. Um, he's probably the priority uh, quarterback ad. If you're in a rough spot, you should spend all of your fab on him. You should blow your waiver priority if you need a quarterback. Um, at Arizona, at Dallas, I mean, two really good, um, inside no weather games for the Eagles, uh, the next two weeks, which, um, that'll play. So yeah, I mean, if, if he's going to run that much, then absolutely start him. Jalen hurts is the Ryan Fitzpatrick of 2020 where Ryan I think Fitzpatrick, that's aggressive. I, I don't, I really don't. The Cardinals were are giving up the ninth most fantasy points to quarterbacks, and Dallas is giving up the eighth most fantasy points to quarterbacks. Going into this week, San, the New Orleans Saints were giving up the fewest over the last month. The yeah. fewest. And he dropped 20 on them. And over the last month, the Cardinals are nine, and the Cowboys are eighth most. Like, he... That, like, you, you saw what... You saw what Lamar did to Dallas. Like they can't, they can't contain a runner. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I think it's a, I think he's a lock for 20 points or more for the next two weeks. And I think there's going to be a lot of desperate people that find the quarterback that they need. Um, that somehow made the playoffs or found a way to hang around to the semis. Um, maybe on the back of like Derrick Henry or something, but. So, so I, I know that you're, and we talked beforehand, this is actually not the guy I was going to bring up, but I'm going to mention him anyway, which is, which is Mitch Trubisky. Um, so, I mean, I obviously you'd rather have hurts. I would rather have Mitch the next two weeks than I would Tua, um, based on matchups at Minnesota at Jacksonville. Um, I, I would, I would much rather have Mitch than, than I would Tua, um, just based on matchups alone, um, and not being a rookie and. Um, you know, the Dolphins have a really good defense. And so uh, that that would be pros for Tua. The Bears have somehow been in shootouts uh, the last couple of weeks, which is hilarious. Um, so, I I mean, at Minnesota, at Jacksonville is really juicy. I, I It hurts me to say this, but I will probably agree with you. If you tried to make that a board bet, I don't think I would make it just yeah. because of the the Minnesota matchup for Trubisky versus the Patriots matchup for Tua. Correct. That, the, that, that's the wide margin. The week 16 matchup is similar uh, with Jacksonville. The Dolphins have the Raiders who can't play defense either. So, right. But right. yeah, that's the week 15 matchup difference. Yeah. So do you have another so you, quarterback then that you wanted to bring up? I did actually. Oh um, no. Oh, I know what it is. I know. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh yeah. Say his name. Gardner Minshew. Minshew Mania. The stash is back in town. Say his name. Alex's boy, his preseason top 10, top 12 quarterback that never was, got That's benched true. for the likes of Mike Glennon, is now being recommended by the Sackos. Look. 
If you want to be like a Sacco, why don't you start one in Gardner Minshew? Go ahead. You, you can get away with starting him. Game script is going to be favorable for tons of passes. He threw 31 passes in just the second half. Um, and he does have a rushing floor too. Um, he's he's going to have, you know, five or six carries for 30 or 40 yards. Um, so I'm just saying that Minshew is, is probably playable. Um, I would much rather play Trubisky over him. I would much rather play Hertz over him. Um, but I would start Minshew over, over two of this week by a pretty wide margin. So, um, th- those are kind of the four guys that you'd potentially be looking at adding. Uh, Minshew is only rostered in 8.2%. And who, why is he rostered in 8.2% of leagues? Um, I will never understand. But um, so, yeah, th- those are probably the four quarterbacks. Obviously, it's Hurts. Um, and then it's probably Trubisky. And then it's probably Tua if you're looking at a two week flow. Um, otherwise, I'd put Minshew over him this week. Um, fab depends on how much you have. I'm assuming you probably don't have much. So, um, I'd probably save it for Cam Akers if he's still available, uh, which we'll talk about um, here shortly. So, yeah, th- those are probably the four quarterbacks to add. Um, Jason, any any disagreements with that? I mean, Mitch is playable. Sorry. Playable, yes. Uh, does he excite me? No. I would start Jalen Hurts over Gardner Minshew. Um, um I uh, I really don't want to sit here and talk about Gardner Minshew because he lost his job and he got hurt <laughs> and he wasn't good. And I think he's like a mediocre quarterback and meh, meh. That's what I, I have to say it. to Gardner Minshew. All right. 